hello and welcome to my little channel today is november 25th 2020 i'm going to go over a brief history of thanksgiving according to britannica.com thanksgiving day annually national holiday in the united states and canada celebrating the harvest and other blessings of the past year Americans generally believe that their Thanksgiving is modeled on the 1621 harvest feast shared by the English colonists and pilgrims of Plymouth and the Wapahong people. The American holiday is particularly rich in legend and symbolism, and the, their traditional fare of Thanksgiving meal typically includes turkey, bread stuffing, potatoes, cranberries, and the famous pumpkin pie. With respect of vehicle travel, the holiday is often the busiest of the year as family members gather with one another. Thanksgiving Day is celebrated on Thursday, November 26, 2020, which is tomorrow, which is the fourth Thursday of November which is where it's kind of designated spot. So the day changes each year, but it's a fourth Thursday. Remember that Plymouth or Plymouth Thanksgiving began with a few colonies going out fouling possible for turkeys, but more probably for the easier prey of geese and ducks. Since they in one day killed as much as they served the company almost a week. Next, 90 or so Wampanoage made a surprise appearance at the settlement's gate. Doubtless unnerving of the 50 or so colonists, nevertheless, over the next few days, the two groups socialized without incident. The Wampaha uh, contribute venison to the feast, which is included the fowl and probably fish, eels, shellfish, stews, vegetables, and of course the famous beer. Since Plymouth Mouth had a few buildings and manufactured goods, most of the people ate outside while sitting on the ground or on barrels with plates in their laps. Men fired guns, race or ran races, and of course drank the liquor, struggling to speak in broken English. And the Wampanoag, oh, speaking English and Wampanoag language. This was rather disorderly affair, but it sealed a treaty between the two groups that lasted until King Philip's War, night or not nineteen, but. 1675 to 76, in which hundreds of colonists and thousands of Native Americans lost their lives. New England colonists were accustomed to regularly celebrating Thanksgiving days of prayer, thanking God for a blessing, such as a military victory or the end of a drought. The U.S. Continental Congress proclaimed the national Thanksgiving upon the enactment of the Constitution, for example. Yet after 1798, the new U.S. Congress left Thanksgiving decorations to the state. Some objected to the national government involvement in religious observance. Southerners were slow to adopt the New England custom, and others took offense over the day being used to hold Parson speeches and parades. A national Thanksgiving Day seems more like a lightning rod for controversy than uniting force. I'm pretty sure many families agree with that statement. Thanksgiving Day did not become an official holiday until Northerners dominated the federal government, while sectional tensions prevailed in the mid 19th century. The editor of the popular magazine, Godly Lay Book, Sarah Josephine or Josepha Hale, campaigned for a national Thanksgiving Day to promote unity. 
she finally won the support of President Abraham Lincoln. So he gave us Thanksgiving and freed the slaves. Excellent. On October the 3rd, 1863, during the Civil War, Lincoln proclaimed a national day of Thanksgiving to be celebrated on Thursday, November the 26th. Wow, interesting. So when it was uh, created, it just happens to fall on the same day this year. The holiday was an annual proclamation to, by every presidential thereafter and date chosen with a few exceptions was the last Thursday in November. President Franklin Roosevelt, however, adopted to extend the Christmas shopping session which generally began with Thanksgiving holiday to boost the economy, moving the date back a week to the third week in November, but not all states complied. And after a joint resolution of Congress in 1941, Roosevelt issued a proclamation in 1942 designated the fourth Thursday in November which was not always the last Thursday as Thanksgiving. As the country became more urban and family members began to live farther apart, Thanksgiving became the time to gather together. The holiday moved away from its religious roots to allow immigrants of every background to participate in the common tradition. Thanksgiving Day football games begin with Yale versus Princeton in 1876 enabled fans to add some rowdiness to the holiday. In the late 1800s, parades of costume revealers became common. In 1922, Gimbel Department Store in Philadelphia staged a parade of 50 people with Santa Claus at the rear of the procession. Since 1922, an annual Macy parade in New York City has continued its tradition with huge blooms since 1927. So about three years later, they brought out the balloons. Pretty interesting. The holiday associated with pilgrims and Native Americans has come to symbolize central cultural peace. America's opportunity for newcomers and the sanctity of home and family. That's right. Very inclusive holiday. I really do like Thanksgiving. Kind of like getting the family together, have a good meal, eat some pie. Don't really have to exchange gifts. I just kind of go to wherever is hosting and leave. Maybe help clean up, clean up a little bit. But yeah, I just kind of like the wholesome family get together. Let's see here. Days of Thanksgiving in Canada, also originated in the colonial period, arise from the same European tradition in gratitude for safe journey, peace, and bountiful harvest. The early celebration was held in 1578 when an expedition led by Martin Forbisher held a ceremony in present day Nunavut to give thanks to the safety of its fleet. In 1879, Parliament established a national Thanksgiving Day on November 6th. The date has varied over the years since 1957. Thanksgiving Day has been celebrated in Canada on the second Monday in October. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Hope you all learned something about the history of Thanksgiving. So hopefully you uh, got something out of it. Leave a comment down below on what your thoughts are. And just enjoy the next couple of days with your family. And just kind of hold them tight, if you could hold them. And just be thankful to have them in your life. And with that, have yourself a wonderful day, evening, or morning. <music>